questions will come. We'll prepare to get back to God today. Let's start the year off strong as we continue to give to God's work. Uh, thank you guys for helping out in this way. And uh, we're going to pray together. And, and the Lord's Prayer every week is right here in the middle of your bulletin. So I uh, will ask you to follow along as we uh, begin our offering time. And then say the Lord's Prayer together after that. Lord, we thank you again for the opportunity to give in your work. We ask that you bless the gifts. Uh, you're the greatest gift. And then you call us to give our own lives in response. And as we do that, you know, we, we get to share the resources that you've given us so that your work may continue. Guide us as we do that. Give us your peace and joy and provision, we pray, in the name of the one who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.
Now, John takes a little bit different thing, but it's the same idea. John says, let me introduce you to God. Right? In the beginning was the Word, the Word is with God, the Word. But if you hang around long enough, you'll find he's also a person, too. Isn't that great? Because at the end, he's, I thirst, I'm tired. You know, oh, wow, he's a person, he's really God. It's this long journey. Once upon a time, there was someone who went on a long journey. And it's the stranger among us. Once upon a time, there was a stranger who came among us. Now, if that's really a big thing, maybe according to that writer, I can't quote because I can't remember his name, uh, if that's really true, if that's the big story of the Bible, then it seems to me that you and I, as people who seek to follow Jesus, and who are forgiven by Jesus and want to be led by Jesus and call ourselves Christians, people who center our lives around God's revealing himself through Jesus and through the Bible, if we want to be those people, then it seems like that story becomes a part of our story as well. Right? Does that make sense? Yeah. Make sense? That becomes a part of our story as well. We become the kind of people who are on this journey for the kingdom of God. And along the way, are interacting with and are, are, are loving people, are blessing people in the name of the one who sent us on the journey. And at times, we are here to introduce to the whole world this stranger who has come among us. This one who has come into our lives and into our midst, who is unlike anybody we've ever seen and anybody the world has ever seen. Right? A missionary uh, was on furlough. Furlough is like vacation, except a little longer. A missionary was on break, was on furlough, and was in an African country. In fact, he was.